So this is going to be a basic overview of your control panel and your aeration system. So this is a dog house. It's concrete. I, this is at my own house, so I put all my stuff. Choose to want to have your system done like this. Any installer can do it for you. It will be an upcharge. It's more money because it requires a lot more cord to get from the pumps to here, and it's a lot more time consuming to get this put where it's at the house and not on top of the tank. But it's an option. Uh, so with that being said, there's the dog house that has the aeration pump in it. I will open that up in a minute, and here's the control panel. So what all you really need to concern yourself with on the control panel is these are the three breakers. One, this first breaker with a 20 on it, it's a 20 amp break, breaker, is for your pump that is in the spray tank. And the next two are 10s. One is for your aerator and one is for your timer. It's that simple. Should your aeration alarm be going off, sometimes I don't put flex on all these, um, just the ones I put at the house, but there's a pressure switch. This normally is through the bottom right here and you would see this clear tube and you'd see it go into this doghouse. So if this comes loose, it's gonna sound the alarm because it's, it's telling, me, telling us that the, that the aeration pump has stopped working. That is what that's for, to sound the alarm should the aerator not be working and pushing air like it's supposed to. So that is all that needs to be known there. You can test your alarm on the outside with your compressor test. It says COMP, that stands for compressor. You can, if, it's, if it's making a loud beep and it's telling you something's wrong, you can come out and push that from run to mute. There's three settings, run, mute, and then the test, and I'm testing it. That's what's making that noise. On the side is HWA is what's on the sticker, high water alarm. So what that's telling us is that something is wrong with the pump or the floats or a combination of all three. Because there's one pump, and two active floats, and the third float is just an alarm float. But you can, if this is going off, that, and it's the red light, that is telling you there's something wrong with your pump. Yellow light is for your aerator, red light is for your pump and your spray tank. You need to contact a professional to mess with that. I highly advise that you don't mess with it yourself. If that's making that noise, you can also move that switch to the middle and it will stop making that. The light will stay on, but it will stop making that really loud noise. And go contact myself or another septic rebuild repair guy. So let's pull this off. By the way, these concrete lids are very heavy. Let me grab my drill. There's a screw right on top of this aeration. You can pull that off. You can see, you can sit, you can tell that mine is dirty right now. I need to take this inside and clean that out. And there's a little filter in on the top of this right here. You can take this inside and just, just gently rinse it out with water, get it all clean. Do not put this back in until it is completely dry. Uh, I would give it like 30 minutes because once you get it uh, completely wrung out, it's so thin, as long as you set it in a, in a dry, or a sunny spot it's going to dry out really fast don't put it somewhere where it's windy because it doesn't weigh anything and it'll blow away but once it's completely dry you can stick this back on top of there you don't have to turn this off it's not going to hurt it to be sitting there for an hour without the filter in it i would highly suggest you not run it without the filter period because it'll burn it up faster and then you just put your screw back in oh got it on backwards Tighten that up and put your lid back on. One thing I want to warn you about is when you lift this off, if you haven't messed with it, please make sure you're wearing gloves because this concrete is not well finished. And if it's during the summertime that you do that, you might want to make sure that there's no wasps in there. Like you, a lot of times I'll come out here in the summer and just kick it with my boot. If something starts flying out of there, at least I got a chance to run. Uh, or if there's another reason I like to wear gloves is because that's all, a lot of these sometimes are in weird, like mine's in this weird corner where it gets really hot uh, and there could be a black widow in there. And I'm not trying to scare you. I'm try, I, I don't want anybody to get hurt by a wasp or get a, a spider bite. So just put some gloves on, 
give it a gentle kick. If some wasps fly out of there, at least you know to go get some wasp spray or get somebody to help you and, uh, and then take that thing off. So that's a basic overview of what you can under, with understanding the control panel and your aeration pump. And that's pretty much what you need to know for this system. Thank you.